So the way that the drivers work in the power supply section, my friends, is you will have the TL494 chip that generates the square waves for the MOSFETs to work with. But the TL494 isn't strong enough to actually drive the MOSFETs directly, so it needs some helpers in between. Now, in order to drive the MOSFETs with transistors, you need one transistor, an NPN, to turn the MOSFET on. And to turn the MOSFET on, you have the transistor is connected to 12 volts to the battery. It then has an input, which is coming from the TL494, so it has 12 volts DC ready to go. Then it gets its square wave from the TL494, and then when the TL494 square wave says on please, this transistor lets 12 volts through and drives the MOSFET gate with 12 volts. Then when the drive signal says off please, then it cuts it and now there's no 12 volts going to the MOSFET gate. However, the problem is that when the drive is turned off again, so when the drive wave says off please and the NPN transistor then stops giving 12 volts to the MOSFET gate, there is residual current still left or kind of in the gate in the gate path to the MOSFET and the MOSFET turns off slowly a bit like if you uh, when you turn your hoover off you do some vacuum cleaning yeah just hoovering up all this stank ass crumbs from my, from my lunch on the floor when you turn the vacuum cleaner off it doesn't instantly turn off it winds down that's because there's excessive kinetic energy in the motor that's still present and it just dissipates slowly due to friction and stuff like that well the same kind of thing happens with the mosfet gate there's capacitance in the gate and there is residual current there which will cause the mosfet to turn off slowly which gives you a kind of slopier off curve to the wave on the mosfet that's not good we need that mosfet to turn off instantly bam off done a bit like this this turns on, when I release it, it's instantly off because it has a capacitor across the, across the motor to eat up that kinetic energy. So um, that's what we need. And that's the job of the PNP driver. So that's why for every bank of MOSFETs you'll have an NPN driver and a PNP driver. The PNP driver, instead of having 12 volts on it ready to go, it has ground on it ready to go. So when the drive signal says on please, it ignores it because it's it's got ground there so it doesn't send it to ground but when the drive signal says off please then it makes a connection from ground to the gate of the mosfet which then mat just sucks all of that excessive current away from the gate rather than just letting it kind of fizzle out it sucks it away grounds it straight away which causes the mosfet to turn off instantly so the fact that we have uh, on the scope screen here with no remote connected the fact that we have five volts on the MOSFET gate with no remote connected amplifiers off That means that the NPN driver must be leaking because that is the one that has 12 volts ready to go So that one must be damaged inside like this so 12 volts isn't getting through but 5 volts is so it's kind of trickling and leaking through onto the gate So that NPN transistor is dead in the bin <laughs> Stank, we need to replace that, uh, but obviously we're going to replace all of them anyway, so 